I'm going to be showing you how to install Jellybam on your GSM Galaxy Nexus. Now you may have seen my review of this previously on the Galaxy Note 2 actually. So first thing you're going to want to do is boot into your recovery. If you don't know how to reboot into recovery on the Galaxy Nexus then Google is your best friend. But I have the option to just reboot into recovery so I'm going to be using that. And also if you wanted to, like the manual way it is pretty easy. Once you are powered off, just press and hold all three buttons and you'll get into the bootloader. And then you just use volume down and hit, hit recovery. You select with power button by the way in case you didn't know. And why do I stop team win recovery installed? Alright. So once you get to the nothing that is what is this? Go home. There we go. So we are going to wipe back to reset. Swipe to wipe. And it should only take a second or two. Alright, going to go back. We're going to wipe cache. And going to wipe Dalvit cache. Now, if you guys know how to install the ROM, you can always skip ahead to where I just do the quick look at the ROM itself. And I'm just going to wipe system because why not? Alright, and then go home. We're going to go to install. And since I did download this on my phone, I don't know why it says use external or internal because it's a Nexus. It's kind of funny. going to go to my downloads folder, which is right here. And actually, I downloaded this with Goo Manager. So I'm going to go back, focus on that. Back button's not. What? Okay, so go up a level. I'm not used to this word, in case you can't tell. Go to Goo Manager, and we're going to look for the Jelly Bam version 5.2, stable for the Migiro. And we are going to flash this. And we're going to hope it actually flashed without having an issue. So it looks that it is. I won't make you guys sit through the whole, you know, installation. So I'll pause it here and we'll be back when this is done. Alright, and so that was actually pretty quick. It only took about 45 seconds or so. So we're going to reboot to the system. And see if, it's, if it has the same boot animation as on the Galaxy Note 2. It does. It's kind of laggy though. So I'm I'm pretty sure it's just kind of slow because this is the first boot. But first off, I do notice that the like it is kind of like on the Note 2's first boot, it was actually pretty fast and didn't just um. Kind of hoping I didn't do something wrong while installing this ROM. Should probably read a thread somewhere. Nah, why not just install it, right? So I'll be back if this boots up. When it boots up, if it boots up, I hope it boots up. I'll be back. All right, and we are booted up. You see, the first message we get is System UI has stopped. So we'll wait for this and continue. We'll hit start. Set up my Wi-Fi. Can't see it to the camera because it's so bright. And connect. In case you're wondering, that's like the default AT&T password, so never changed it because I'm too lazy. Why isn't it? Okay, so I'm just gonna skip that for now. Skip. 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 So, I mean, it, it seems pretty snappy. On Paranoid with Android, it didn't let me skip that. I'm not going to patch I'm not going to patch them with this video. And let's turn on brightness so that it don't kill you guys the whole time. Just hit. If, if you guys ever get that message, just hit home. And then select your launcher. And, wow. The transparency is pretty nice. Let's go into the app drawer and yes, that's a camera. 
So it causes awesome beats, which if you have beats headphones, you can kind of mess with those. Pretty nice. I, I use it a lot. It comes with a CM file manager, which I always like to use. Let's see. It comes with mod my droid, which I didn't know what that was on my Note 2 until the actual dev guy explained it to me in my video. It's rescan media. So if you have like a movie, so if you have like a movie that's not showing up, you hit that and it will rescan all the media on your device for you. So we have update me. So I mean, I guess that's so you can update the app. Let's see. Pretty much standard stuff elsewhere. So this is basically just like my note too. We have theme settings where you can mess with your jelly band wallpapers. You have your theme manager. We have custom device options. So you can mess with the color of the display because I know some of you guys don't like the color settings that come, you know, default. And let's see. Let's go down. We have our Cyanogen mod profiles. And this is where we have most of the settings for this ROM, which AOKP settings, which is all based on Android 4.2. We have our Cyanogen mod settings. Performance control so you can overclock it to 3 gigahertz because, you know, why not break your device? I'm, I'm joking. Don't. Don't do that. See, we are based on Android 4.2.1. This is the 5.2 build of Jelly Bam. So, that's so bright. Why is it so bright? I'm pretty sure you can set the um, status bar to where it's also transparent, just like the navigation bar. Which, that would actually look pretty sweet together. I'm going to check that out. And it looks like we do have the updated Trebuchet launcher, because you can mess with the transition effects, which is pretty nice. But I'm not going to go too much into this. I'll leave that for my full review. Which, I don't know. I am, I'm moving. So my videos are going to be postponed for a little bit. Because I have to move this weekend. No family help means I got to do it myself. So life kind of sucks. But if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos on the Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S3, or Galaxy Note 2. Then subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.